ladies, this is Katie, and I'm at Amanda Mikowski's house in North Carolina, visiting from Oklahoma, and we decided that we would try to clean up a red velvet recipe and make it fat loss friendly, because I personally love red velvet, which I'm sure most of you do too. So we're substituting a lot of ingredients, and um, we're going to see how it goes. So we will check back with you in a couple minutes. Okay, so we're about halfway done or so in making our red velvet cupcakes. And what we've done is we've done some substitutions. We're going to use Greek yogurt instead of the sour cream. Some recipes have called for buttermilk. Um, and then we've also used a banana instead of butter. Um, so we're hoping that turns out good. And we're also going to be using oat bran instead of flour, um, which you know, we talked about oat bran, um, high protein, high fiber, so it's really good. So, um, yeah, we're going to get it all mixed up and we'll check back in with you and see, show you how it looks. Go. Hi, everybody. We are just scooping our cupcakes. Um into the wrappers. I'm using an ice cream scoop because I read somewhere that that's where you get the most even cupcakes so we're going to try to make them as pretty as possible. Um, it made quite a bit of batter. We think we might get at least two dozen maybe three dozen cupcakes so hopefully they turn out good and we'll have plenty for everybody. All right we'll see you soon. So we've made our cupcakes and we made some modified clean eating frosting as well. We used a little bit of protein powder and Greek yogurt in, in place of cream cheese. And we will post the recipe to the frosting and the actual red velvet cupcake mix. Um, but here is our finished product. So um, it's actually really good. So I hope you enjoy the recipe.